Hello, what's up, YouTube photographer Ronnie Sweater Nitro, and this tutorial I'll be showing you how I was able to collaborate this very image from looking like this to looking like this in Capture. So you can see before and after, before and after. So you're going to be achieving this by the end of this tutorial. And if I told you I haven't hit the like button on this video, simply like the video because when you like the video, it helps you to push and recommend this video to many people out there. So simply like this video. So in order to proceed, you're simply going to come to our raw file right here. And just first of all, going to correct the lighting and contrast issues regarding this photo. So we're going to come to the adjustments right here in Capture One. And I'm using one of the latest versions of Capture One. So I'm just going to come to the adjustments and first of all, correct the lighting and contrast issues regarding uh, this very image. So I'm just going to turn off the before and after. So I'll just come to the high dynamic range and take the highlights down. And I'll do the same for the whites, just like that. Then I'll open up the shadows slightly. Then I'll just come and add some blacks and add a tiny bit of contrast to the image around 7. Then I'll come to my levels and I'll simply drag my black point in just like that to add contrast to the image. And I'll do the same for the white point, just like that. So you can see by just doing this, I've been able to achieve this step. So after doing that, the next thing is going to be working on the skin or evening out of the skin tones. So in order to even out skin tones for this image, we are going to come to the layers in Capture One. Like Photoshop, Capture One also has layers. So I'm just going to come to the layers right here and simply right click and get or create a new field adjustment layer so creating a new field adjustment layer is going to help us work on the photo in a non-destructive way so that if at all we change a given color we can always correct that later on and if at all we over color grade the image we can always come to this layer and reduce on the opacity to your liking so after creating this new field adjustment layer you can rename it to whatever you want so this is going to be for the skin tone so we're just going to scroll down and come to where you see color editor and if at all you're missing any tool within your capture one simply right click anywhere and just come to add tool and you can add whichever tool you're lacking in your capture one so i'm just going to come to where you see skin tone right here and i'll simply zoom in so I've zoomed in by using Command Plus on the keyboard. So I'm just going to slightly increase on this. So after zooming in, come to Skin, skin Tone and get this eyedropper tool or the color picker tool. So as soon as you click on it, zoom into the image and you sample skin. So for this, we just want to create even skin tones for this model. So for this, I'll just come. And I'll sample just a skin tone. Just I'll sample from around here. And you can see it has chosen the range in which the skin tones fall. And you, ca you can see that we have a number of colors that is yellows, oranges, magentas, and some reds. So after doing that, remember we just want even the skin tones. And the area we have just sampled is the area we want the rest of the skin to look like. Or the skin color to look like you can see that we have some yellows right here so we're going to simply come to where you can see uniformity right here and we are going to take the hue slider up so just left click and start dragging up the hues just like that and as we're doing that you can notice that we have gotten rid of the yellows in the skin tone and we're also going to come to the saturation and take up the saturation just like that complement the hue effect so i'm just going to take it up just like that so when you feel like the skin is now looking nice and uniform you can stop right there so if at all the skin is looking more on the red side you can come to where you see amount and you can either increase on the saturation of the skin or you can reduce on the saturation to your liking so i'm just going to leave it up, up to around 1.3 that is okay so if at all the skin is looking either green or reddish, you can play around with the hues and the amount. So you can either add greens to a skin tone or you can simply add more reds to the skin tone. So I'm just going to come 
and I'm just going to add some tiny bit of greens to the skin tone so that is okay so this is what we have been able to achieve so far so let me show you a quick before and after but we are not yet there so this is a before after so next thing is going to be after working on the skin tone if at all you have changed or altered maybe the makeup you can always come to this layer and get the eraser tool and zoom in and you can erase the effect from a given area. For example, if I told you don't want to change the lipstick color with the eraser tool selected and you have selected the layer for our color grading, you can always come and erase the color grading from a given area by getting the eraser tool. So I'm just going to press Ctrl Z to undo that because I just love the lips the way they are. And remember, color grading is a personal choice or test. So after unifying the skin tone, you are simply going to come to the basic adjustments and simply come to the oranges and come to the lightness and take the lightness down to add a slight bit of contrast to the skin tone. Then you are going to come to where you see color balance and under this you can play around with these colors. So you can either add a given color to the shadow, mid-tone and the highlight. So for this we are just going to come and add this kind of cyan color to the highlights just like that so i'm just going to take it towards the highlight and this helps me to cool down the model skin tone when i move this towards this the this kind of cyan side it helps cool down or remove the overly warm tones from uh, the model skin and i'll come to my shadows and I'll simply cool down the shadows by adding some blues towards the shadows, just a tiny bit. So the closer this circle is to the edge, the more saturated that color is going to be. And the closer it is towards the circle, the less of that color that you're going to be trying to add to your image. So I'm just going to add a tiny bit of blues towards my shadows. So I'll just come the mid-tones. And I'll add a tiny bit of oranges towards uh, the mid-tones. I feel like this is okay. So let's say before and after so far. So this is a before, after, before, and after, before, after. So when you feel like the effect is too much, for example, on the skin, you can always come to the saturation of the oranges and reduce on the saturation to your liking. So for example, if at all you have a number of images from the same shoot this is how you can copy and apply adjustments so before before you eliminating or painting our color or color grading from given areas always remember to come and to the adjustments right here and copy the adjustments so just copy the ad adjustments and you can always come and paste the adjustments to a brand new image so I'm just going to come and apply the adjustments and you can see it is basically the same color grading that you have so if i told you are dealing with a number of images from the same shoot simply copy and paste adjustments and fine tune the adjustments accordingly so this is how you can easily edit a photo or color grade in capture one and if i told you have enjoyed this simply like this video and by the way to export the image to photoshop simply come to adjustment image rather edit with and select photoshop the version that you want to edit in i prefer the format to tiff 16 bit and make sure uncompressed is selected 300 pixels per inch and i'll leave this to the default selections and simply come to edit variants to open the image in photoshop for us to do the skin retouching so i'll see you in yet another video don't forget to keep practicing and also keep creating